The 50 Beowulf versus 50 BMG. They may be 50 cals, but these two cartridges are incredibly different. Let's talk about it. Hello, friends and lovers. This is Dave Trillo, and you're listening to the Ammunition Guide podcast brought to you by none other than Ammo.com. Today, we're going to take you to the 50s, the 50 cals to be more oh, yeah. exact. We're going to compare two real apples and oranges cartridges per usual, so uh, don't lambast us too heavily. Chris, these are the 50 Beowulf and the 50 BMG. Yeah, these are some big boys, uh, to say the least. And I, I think, honestly, the only thing similar about these two cartridges is the name 50 uh, in them. That, that really is, sums it up for the most part. Yeah, the 50 BMG, I think it was developed uh, to kind of counter the increasing use of airplanes during World War I. Right away, it gives you some idea of its power. This thing was made to shoot down airplanes. Definitely. No, the 50 was huge. It is a huge, huge round. And yeah, our as I like to say, our Lord and Savior, John Moses Browning, basically made it out of nothing. Uh, he built this cartridge completely from scratch. Basically, the military came to him during World War One, and uh, they basically said, okay, we want to shoot a projectile at about 2,700 feet per second that can penetrate light armored personnel carriers and airplanes. And then they said, yeah. go. This cartridge is something that is still in use today. So that shows you some longevity as how powerful and how good the 50 BMG is. Now, of course, they initially made it as an anti-material uh, type of cartridge. It wasn't necessarily made as a sniper cartridge. But later on, with the advancements in rifle technology, the 50 now holds, if I'm not mistaken, the top three spots on the longest sniper kills in history. Yeah, I think a Canadian holds the top yep. record, an anonymous Canadian. But yeah, it kind of gives you a sense of how the 50 BMG is kind of a, a do it all round. You said it was anti materiel. Mm -hmm. I know we're not allowed to ship it, but there are explosive and incendiary 50 BMG cartridges, which are perfect for duck hunting. <laughs> and uh, I mean, usually what the American shooter is going to get his hands on is the uh, 660 grain or heavier full metal jacket. Or the AMAX, the Hornady AMAX is pretty popular in a 50 BMG loadout. Yeah, those are really popular civilian rounds that you can get. You can find some of those, you know, crazy rounds out there in the wild, but man, you got to be really careful when you shoot one of those through your gun. You know, let's talk about our other 50 caliber round here, and that would be the 50 Beowulf. Now, this one is part of a classification of cartridges known as the Thumper rounds. The 50 was the first one that came to market that met this criteria. Yeah, it's an impressive little round. You were just telling me that it's based on the 50 Action Express, which yep. is the, the 50 cal that we associate with the Desert Eagle. Yep. They, they elongated that case a little bit and, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and just stuck, uh, I believe... Is it the same bullet weight? Uh, you can shoot even heavier bullets out of a 50 Beowulf than you can out of a 50 AE. Typically, you're shooting somewhere between like 200 and 600 grain bullets out of a 50 AE. I think typically the 350s are probably more popular uh, as far as that's concerned. But yeah, don't think that if you have 50 Action Express brass laying around that you can just magically make 50 Beowulf like you can with some cartridges. So if you want to shoot 50 Beowulf, you're going to have to buy the 50 Beowulf brass. Now, you say it's an AR-15 cartridge, so mm -hmm. right away, the fact that you can fire 50 Beowulf in an AR-15 and uh, 50 BMG is about the size of an AR-15, <laughs> it, gives you, it gives you some idea of the uh, differences in potential between these two cartridges. Just the size difference between these two alone is astounding. I mean, it's basically comparing my house to the Empire State Building, at least it feels that way. And the amount of long range potential you have out of the 50, I think we've kind of explained already, talking about the longest sniper shots. 50 Beowulf, uh, you're not going to get a whole lot of range out of that. Probably about 150 yards is going to be your maximum effective range on that. Yeah, and that's the same uh, problem we see with a lot of bullets that emphasize, you know, heavy weight. Yeah. Is obviously you don't want a muzzle velocity that's going to murder you with recoil. You simply couldn't have that in an AR platform. I think the, the main limiting factor here is the 50 Beowulf is set for that AR-15 which has a maximum overall cartridge length of 2.26 inches. Now, when you take a big 50 caliber bullet and you got to smush it into that case, it really is kind of fat and short, for lack of a better term. It's not very aerodynamic, and it really loses muzzle velocity and uh, you know kinetic energy really fast once you get out past about 100 yards. So it's really meant for those close-in engagements where the 50 is you know made to shoot into the next county. 50 BMG, that is. 
So why is the 50 BMG proper for deer hunting? Now, I, I know in some jurisdictions, uh, the powers that be have, have banned bottlenecked cartridges for, for deer season. That's why we see uh, sabit slugs yep. still remaining popular in certain places. Um, that's got to be one of the, the key factors that, that someone might pick the 50 Beowulf. That is one of the nice uh, parts that you can do with the 50 Beowulf. It's one of those cartridges that when you have states like where I live here in Indiana on public land, you can only shoot a straight wall cartridge, which is what the 50 Beowulf is. And it gives you, you know, that option to shoot out, uh, you know, with your AR-15, go deer hunting. Uh, now, as far as hunting with the 50 BMG, uh, it's it's a bit much. Now, I've seen people use it for hog hunting and if that's your thing if you like you know detonating your bacon then go for yeah. it you know enjoy it but uh man uh i think i'd rather a 50 bay wolf in that case and if you need to get some ammo for hog hunting make sure you click that link down in the pinned comment or the description of the video get your free 20 dollars off coupon from here at ammo.com but uh you know we kind of alluded to this uh, a little earlier about recoil now uh, they call them the thumper rounds for a reason because it's considerably higher recoil than your normal 5.56 five, NATO load, but uh, the 50 Beowulf does not even come close to comparing the type of recoil that the 50 BMG lets off. Usually running about 90 foot-pounds of free recoil energy on that, which is ridiculous. Now, I mean, the 50 Beowulf is no slouch at 30 foot-pounds, but your typical 5.56 five, load is running about 5 yeah, 95 foot-pounds of recoil energy, you're going to feel it even with a 30-pound rifle to add some inertia to cancel that out. And a muzzle brake. I mean, you think most of these 50 cals come with a muzzle brake pre-installed in the factory for good reason, uh, because you need something to kind of help tame that recoil. And that 90 foot-pounds, I mean, you need a lot of training to get used to that because that's nothing to shake a stick at. Well, you know, you touched on something important there is uh, the price tag of this thing. Typically, like your 50 Beowulfs are running about you know, maybe two to three dollars per round, which is not cheap. But uh, your 50 BMG starts at about three to four dollars per pull of the trigger. And I mean, oftentimes I like to joke that when you pull the trigger on a 50, all you hear is the cha-ching of the cash register. You don't actually hear the report of the rifle. And I mean, not only is it, you know, expensive to buy the ammo for it, you have to find a range that'll let you shoot 50 BMG. I mean, I even have a military range nearby here that allows the public on that will not let you fire 50 BMG on it. So, you know, finding a place that will allow you to shoot and let, if you don't have public, or excuse me, if you don't have your own private property where you can shoot it can be a bit of a challenge. Yeah, uh, you might actually permanently deafen people if you fired it in an indoor range. Oh, without a doubt. That amount of sound and report that it lets off is insane, to say the least. Like I said, basically shoulder-mounted artillery. Uh, and uh, yeah, that, that's definitely hard on the eardrums as well as the pocketbook and the shoulder. So the 50 BMG is just hard on pretty much everything. Uh, and that includes, of course, the target at the other end. That's worth it. I think the, the, the world record sniper kill with the 50 BMG was just a hair short of two miles. Yeah. So yeah. That, that's that's an effective range. It's that, ridiculous. That range. Yeah. And to really get that type of accuracy out of it, you need to, you know, one, have a lot of practice time with it because getting used to that recoil is going to be, you got to get at least a couple hundred rounds through it just to get used to that type of recoil being put back on your shoulder. But uh, yeah, getting enough training on the 50 can be a challenge. Whereas the 50 Beowulf, if you have an AR, you can take that to any range, even some indoor ranges let you use them. One thing, we talked about the long range potential of this. We've mentioned this before. The 50 Cal is one of the few uh, you know cartridges out there that has a ballistic coefficient of one. Yeah, yeah you never see that anywhere else. Yeah, almost 300 grains of powder capacity in a 50 BMG. Uh, and, uh, you know, that's not anything to be uh, to be trifled with compared to about 65 grains for the 50 Beowulf. That kind of spells it all out. And uh, like I said before, apples and oranges. But, you know, if you need something for short range, maybe like home defense, you're looking for a home defense rifle and you want something that's not a 12 gauge shotgun or a handgun, the 50 Beowulf would be the better choice. Whereas a 50 BMG, I think it's going to mostly be relegated to target practice because even large animals like elk and moose, a 50 is just, uh, it's a bit excessive. Yeah, you shoot a whitetail at a 50 BMG, you don't have to even worry about field dressing it because you won't find it. Let's go ahead and close it up here, Dave. Uh, what are your final thoughts on these two cartridges? I love the fact that the 50 BMG exists. I love watching YouTube team of people, uh, you know, playing around with it. I'm never going to buy it. I'm pretty sure the rifle is going to set me back at least 10 grand. 
Yep. I'm not keen on, on spending $5 every time I pull the trigger. I'm never going to find or join a range that will let me actually witness its potential. And I'm too much of a doofus to actually become that proficient at long range shooting. Uh, 50 BMG in my state, I can hunt with a bottleneck cartridge. So it doesn't really offer me much there. Uh, to me, that that's really the only reason to even kind of consider using it for deer hunting is, is necessity. Yeah, I have to agree with you. I think a 50 Beowulf, like here in my state in Indiana and other ones that have cartridge restrictions like Ohio, Pennsylvania, definitely serves a purpose there. Uh, I think if you need a type of like maybe a carbine that you want to be able to make sure you punch through auto glass. I know that a lot of, uh, you know, people who run like checkpoints and things like that like the 50 Beowulf for that. Uh, mm -hmm. And if you're doing Overwatch, uh, you know, in Afghanistan, obviously the 50 BMG is the right call for you. However, unless, like you mentioned earlier, Uncle Sam is footing the ammo bill, it's a little bit much. Now, I do know that there are lots of people out there who love their 50 BMGs. And you know what I say to that? You go for it because this is an amazing country. The fact that, like you said, this cartridge exists and we can buy it is a testament to the Second Amendment, something that we dearly support here at Ammo.com. And if you haven't done so, make sure you click that like and subscribe button down below. Continue watching our channel, and we'll see you out on the range.